Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a video on a back to school look. So I am one of those that just kind of roll out of bed, grab my coffee, maybe put some mascara on and head to school. But this kind of, you know, what I did today is more of a, if you, if you kind of want to pull yourself together, if you want to look a little bit more awake, this is kind of what I came up with. I just wanted to really create a look that made me look awake because you know at those 8 a.m. classes you look like mashed up dog shit at least I know I did <laughs> so if you're feeling like you want to take just a little bit extra time to get ready in the morning here is something that you could do don't forget to follow me on my other social media if you do like videos like these please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video but if you would like to see how to get this kind of fresh faced back to school look then just keep on watching all right guys so when I wake up my hair is just an absolute disaster so let's just go ahead and bun that up you know just get it out of the way all right so to get rid of these eye bags I'm going to be using the skin Iceland hydro cool firming eye gels I have been absolutely loving these they are so cooling and when I use them I can definitely tell a difference so while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to use this lip balm by Dior. It's a cream, rose de cream, I, I believe. I don't know. I'll have it listed down below. And I'm going to tweet some brows. A little painful, but, you know, beauty is pain. Do a little dance break. Same as every day. Take them off. After 10 minutes is up, and I am just, oh, I love them so much. So for moisturizer, I'm going to take the Glam Go Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizer. I've been absolutely loving this product. If you have not tried it, you definitely need to give it a try. It makes my skin look so dewy. The way the light catches it is just absolutely insane. Catching the, you know, the highlight. Okay, so for a primer, I'm going to take the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue, and I'm just going to apply that to the places that I get extra oily on my T-zone, my chin, blah, blah, blah. And for a foundation, I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shades 204 and 208. I'm just going to mix those together to get a shade that works best for me. I'm going to be using the Morphe... E6, I believe is what this is. Now they have redone their um, Elite Collection, so this particular style is no longer in stock, but I believe their new Elite Collection is the, I mean, it's the same, they all have the same name, but they are a little softer than the original Elite Collection. I still love these brushes. I guess when they start to break down, then I'll purchase the new Elite. So after I get all of the foundation blended, I'm going to cover up these demons on my face with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. After that, I'm going to take the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer to highlight and conceal my under eyes and highlight down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, chin, forehead, blah, blah, blah. Um, that is in the shade Light. And to blend that out, I'm going to be taking a damp beauty blender. I've been loving this foundation. I think it blends out so nicely. It doesn't crease bad under the eyes, which is a perfect for me because concealers usually tend to uh, crease up pretty bad on my under eyes. So my mom called, so I'm trying to uh, multitask here, save some time while my daughter is asleep. So to set my under eyes, I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just taking that on an e.l.f. It doesn't say what this brush is. It's just basically a pointed brush, I guess. Um, and then the rest of my face, I'm going to take a Real Techniques powder brush and just powder up because mama gets oily. I dance entirely too much. I'm so sorry. And for brows... At first, I'm going to be taking the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I've been liking this to kind of define the brows. And then I'll go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the shade Taupe and using 
the number eight brush, I believe is what it is, to kind of set that in place as well as define a little bit more. And then to set my brows completely, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This stuff is like super glue for your brows. Get it. Warm up the face. I'm going to take this e.l.f. contour palette on an e.l.f. angled brush. I mean, it could be a blush brush, you know, whatever. It's an angled brush. And this palette, you guys, oh my gosh. I don't think it gets enough hype. I have been loving it so much. So after I'm done contouring, warming up the face, I'm going to take the other uh, e.l.f. Palette. It is the blush palette in the shade light. I'll take that shade there on a Real Techniques uh, blush brush. And then for highlight, I'm going to take the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade 10 Berry Highlight, I believe is what it is. I love it. And then I'm just going to blend it out. So for eyes, I'm going to be taking this Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to take that shade that I just showed you on a fluffy crease brush. This brush is from Morphe. And then I'm going to take that shade right there on my finger because I like how it applies better. It's more of a foiled shade. And just pat that all over the lid. After we get that patted all over the lid, we're just going to go back with that same crease brush that we used and blend those two colors together so we don't have any harsh lines. And I'm going to take that shade right there on a Real Techniques shading brush for the brow highlight and the inner corner highlight. I absolutely love this palette. You can get so many different looks out of it. It's just perfect. I love it. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm not sure what happened right here, but I think it, it uh, hurt me. So this is just a Revlon lash curler that I picked up at Walmart, I think. Nothing special. I'm going to coat my lashes with the CoverGirl Volume Lash Blast Mascara. I believe this is in the blackest black shade. I swear it takes me forever to apply mascara just how I like it. So I'll do a few coats on my upper lashes and bottom lashes. Now you could totally leave your lashes with just mascara, but I personally love the look of false lashes, so I'm going to take these Ilura Lux lashes. I absolutely love them. To set everything down, I'm going to take the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray, and then to top off my lips, I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild Color Icon Gloss in Raised and Good Corals. And so let's just kind of I don't know, tussle the hair up, fix it up a little. I'm just going to put it right back in a bun because there's nothing else I can do with my hair when it is like this. So I just spin it around. My hair is kind of short, so I have to uh, first pull it down with a ponytail. And then I go in with a ton of bobby pins because that's the only way that I can keep this hair up. So after we're done doing our hair, I'm not really liking the shirt, so I'm going to change it. And this is the final look, guys. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you like the video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.